So today we're going to use Power Scripts to restrict the available options for a custom field select list. So for example, I have this custom field that allows you to pick how many days into the future the due date should be set. So let's go ahead and see if we can't limit this list based on, based on the user. So I'm going to come over to my SIL manager in the admin section and I'm going to create uh, a new script. We'll just call it limit. And then I'm going to pop over to my custom field so I can find the ID of the issue I'm trying to limit. So if I just hover over this, I can see the bottom down here is going to come up. The custom field ID at the end of that URL is going to be 10703. So I can just, I'm going to put this in a comment so I don't forget. 10703. So in order to restrict our options, we're going to use this LF restrict select options function, which is a mouthful. But basically, all it does is exactly what we want. It just it restricts the options. There's another function similar to this that instead of speci specifying what you want to restrict, you can specify only those that you would allow. So that's the first parameter is the field. Second parameter are the values we want to restrict. So let's restrict everything from 1 to 10. I don't know. We'll say one to five, so you don't have to sit here and watch me type really slowly. Just want to make sure my syntax is correct. And that would be it. Um, if we wanted to limit it to certain users, we could just say something like if current user uh, is equal to at me but I could you know use other functions to grab groups or project roles here it doesn't have to just be a single user okay just because we've made this script doesn't mean it's actually going to run so what we need to do is add this as a live field so what that's going to do is it's going to set um, that script to run every time a screen is opened up in our in our specific project. Uh, let's call it so we need to select our script and then we need to specify which projects we want it to run for. And then we just hit save, and now that should be that should be running. So now if I come back, and I'm just going to refresh my screen here, make sure all the changes are on here. If I hit edit, I shouldn't have the options of 1 to 5 in here. Well, let's see what happens. There, yay, it worked. So now you can see that options one through five are now gone. They're restricted. So that's how you limit select list options based on a user using PowerScripts from C Prime. Thank you.